am Sarah Mark. I am a yoga instructor and a team rider for Never Summer Snowboards, as well as the creator of the Coffee Cat Instructional Yoga Mat. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through a quick um, yoga routine for snowboarding. So go ahead and start in child's pose. So you're gonna come onto your mat and you're going to kneel down and place um, your thighs against your calves. And then you're gonna bring your arms forward. And then just take some deep breaths and just start to settle into your body. Maybe allowing your forehead to connect to the earth if that's available to you. And just remembering to listen to your body first and me second and never do anything that causes you pain. And just remembering that this pose is always available for you to take rest at any time during the practice. So on your next inhale, you're gonna slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, and you're gonna find your way into a comfortable seat. So sit any way that feels good to you where you can sit with a straight spine. So. If you can sit like this with a straight spine, if you want to come cross-legged, just as long as your spine is straight and if for some reason um, it's really common for people to struggle sitting with a straight spine, you can put a pillow or something a little bit higher underneath your butt. So any way that you can sit like this instead of like this, because when your spine is straight, it allows energy to flow freely up and down your spine. So we're sitting nice and straight. And we are going to close down our eyes and start with a little bit of a meditation. Let's just go ahead and close down your eyes. Don't worry, I'll tell you when to open them. Just settle into your seat. And begin to focus on your inhales and exhales. I'm just beginning to lengthen your inhales and exhales. And on an inhale, I want you to silently say to yourself, I am. And on an exhale, a word that you feel would benefit you. So example, I could be, I am strong. I am confident. I am balanced. I am here. Just whatever is calling to you. So you're going to be inhaling. I am and exhaling. Whatever word that is. Take one more deep inhale and a deep exhale. And then bring your hands right in front of your heart and bring your palms to me. And if you'd like to make an intention for your practice, you may do so now. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna open up your eyes. So from here, we're just going to start to warm up our wrists. So we're gonna interlace our hands and we're just gonna make some circles with our wrists. Nice and slow. And then switching directions. And then we're gonna sweep our wrists forward and we're gonna inhale our arms all the way up. And we're gonna exhale and we're gonna to twist to our right. Now in general, in yoga, if you're getting bigger, you're inhaling. And if you're getting smaller or twisting, you're exhaling. But just right now, just worry about breathing, knowing that you can always come back to that mantra if your mind starts to wander. So 
we're going to inhale, come back to center, sweep your arms up over your head, and exhale and twist to your left. Just wringing out any tension, any anxiety. Inhale, coming back to center, sweeping your arms up over your head, and bringing your hands back to your heart center. And then we're just going to take some circles with our neck, taking extra time to look up, and just moving extra mindful of the neck, and switching directions. And then come into stillness, and we're just going to bring, do some nice circles with our shoulders, bringing our shoulders up and forward. Maybe pull the corners up of your mouth and practice joyfully in such directions. I say that if you smile, you can trick your brain into thinking that you're happy, even when you're not. So fake it till you make it. Right? And we're now going to come on to our hands and knees coming into tabletop position. So, also known as cow pose. So, coming onto our hands and knees, we're going to come into a little bit of cow and cat. So, cow, you're going to lift your head and drop your tummy. And then you're going to exhale round into cat. You're going to Arch through your spine and tuck your head, tuck your tailbone, and inhaling to cow. And you can have your toes tucked under or laying flat on your mat, whatever feels good to you. This is your practice. So inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. And then come into neutral, just back to that cow. And this is what I like to call cow freestyle. So you're just going to go ahead and make some circles with your hips and just move any way that feels good to you. And then come in the opposite direction. Here we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to walk our hand back towards our feet coming into a squat. This is garden pose, so let me show you from the side and from the front. And then you're going to take your hands to your heart center. So it's kind of like catcher pose if you're into baseball. But this is a pose that I do every time before I go snowboarding. It's one of the most essential poses, I think, because it's really good for your low back. It's also good for your ankles. It stretches kind of everything. And if this is really uncomfortable to you, you can place um, your pillow or something behind your heels. But don't worry if your heels are popped up like this. There's really no right or wrong way to do it as long as it feels good to you. And it does get easier. And just remembering the breath. And then from here, we're coming up, we're going to come into a forward fold. So placing our hands onto the earth and then we're going to slowly begin to straighten our legs. And then allow your head to hang. Maybe shake your head from side to side. Maybe just sway your hips a little bit. And if for any reason you feel dizzy, just go ahead and come back down to that squat. Don't stand right back up. So that'll make you more dizzy. 
But just always being mindful of how you're feeling in your body and respecting and honoring where you're at today. And then from here, we're just gonna roll up one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up. Wonderful. And then we're gonna find our way to the front of our mat. So go ahead and stand to the front of the mat. And from here, we're gonna open up to the side. And this is called goddess pose. So we're gonna stand with our toes pointing out, heels facing in. So kind of like your snowboard stance, but a little bit wider. And then you're just gonna bring your arms up with a soft bend. And this is garland pose. And you can pull up your toes too in this pose. Maybe sway from side to side. Taking some deep breaths. I'm feeling the burn in your legs. Maybe you sink a little deeper. And then go ahead and inhale up and we're gonna come into triangle pose. So we're gonna point our front foot forward and our back foot is gonna be parallel to the back of your mat. And then your legs are both straight and you're gonna bring your arms out to the side. And then you're just gonna tip over and place your hand anywhere but your knee. You just don't wanna put pressure on your knee joint. So it's okay if your arm is here. It's okay if your hand is here, as long as this top arm is straight. So you just don't wanna be like, oh, I'm on the floor but you're really bent over here. So trying to keep your chest nice and open. And then you can take your gaze forward or you can even bring your gaze up at your top hand. And just remembering to breathe. And on your next inhale, inhale up. And then we're just gonna pivot to the other side. So you're gonna bring your front foot with your toes facing forward and your back foot is parallel to the mat. And then you're gonna straighten your legs, bring your arms out to the side and exhale into triangle pose. Taking some deep breaths. Maybe taking that gaze up. And then we're gonna inhale, come up. We're gonna to pivot to the other side. We're gonna do revolve triangle this time. So that back foot, instead of it being parallel, you're just gonna point your toes towards your front foot a little bit more. So like 45 degrees as opposed to like 15. If you have one of my yoga mats, you'll know what I'm talking about. So um, with this one, so triangle pose, you're facing, your hips are facing this way. With revolve triangle, it's totally different. It's gonna be a twisting pose. So your hips are gonna be facing kind of the front of the room, and then you're gonna be putting the opposite hand down. So if this was triangle pose, Instead of going like this, you're gonna bring twisting over and bring your hand down. Or if you have a block, you can use a block or books, or you can place it on your thigh or shin or whatever is good. And like again, just not the knee. So this is revolved triangle. So it's triangle, but you're twisting. And what's cool about this pose is it is just like the snowboard grab crail. So it's kind of unique. There's not too many. Um, yoga poses that are also snowboard grabs. So I always like to put this one in my snowboard yoga practices. Okay, go ahead and inhale, come back up. And that's a pretty advanced pose, so it's okay if it's hard. And then go ahead and pivot to the other side. So your front foot is facing forward and your back foot is a little bit more in so that you can get your hips facing to the front of your mat. And then you're gonna open up your arms and then you're gonna take your body across and you're twisting. Coming into a revolve triangle or crow crow and snowboarding. And inhale, come back up. Nicely done. And we're gonna open up to warrior two pose. So we're gonna bend that front knee. That back foot's gonna be parallel again to the back of your mat. Your stance is gonna be a little bit wider. And then you're gonna open your arms out to the side and take your gaze over that front hand. 
This is a really powerful posture. I bet you're stronger than you know. Maybe coming back to the I am meditation. You're gonna inhale up and we're gonna pivot to the other side. So just switching where our feet were and bending that front knee, opening up the arms and sinking into warrior two pose and taking that gaze over your front hand. Where would you like to have more strength in your life? Come back up, and then you're just gonna heel toe your feet together, come to standing, and we are going to do tree pose. So, tree pose is you're gonna root down into your right foot, and then you're gonna slowly bring up your left foot, and you're gonna place it, like I said, anywhere but your knee again. It's kind of the theme of today. Um, so, this is tree pose, this is tree pose, anywhere that feels good to you. So if this is enough of a challenge, you can stay here. If you want more of a challenge, um, you can grow your branches. And if you want even more of a challenge, you can close down your eyes. And you can feel how much harder it is when you close down your eyes. It's really hard to balance. But it is a really great exercise to do, especially since sometimes you get on the mountain and you can't see where you're going. So if you can practice finding balance and stability with your eyes closed down, it's really helpful. And then if your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them up. And then exhale, release out of the pose. And come to your other side and get rooted into that left foot. Don't worry if you do the other side, just as long as you're not doing the same side again. So ground down and then inhale, bring that leg up. Place it on your other leg, anywhere that feels good to you. Maybe do something different on this side. And take your hands to your heart center. Maybe closing down on your eyes and growing your branches. Maybe envisioning what kind of tree you are. Can you visualize your roots on the soil? Is it dry? Is it moist? The more that we can visualize and see the easier it is to accomplish and make that a reality. Maybe there's wind, you sway side to side. You then go ahead and bring your hands back to your heart center and open up your eyes. Next, exhale, release down. So we're gonna make our way down onto our mat and coming into your back. So we're going to do a little bit of um, a little bit of ab work, but yoga ab work. So we're gonna come into butterfly pose. So our soles of our feet are together, and then you're gonna lay back onto your mat, and then you're gonna take your fingertips to your ears, and then you're gonna bring your elbows to your knees. So like this, so you're lifting your butt up off the ground, and just don't be pulling on your head because you don't want to put strain on your neck. So just connecting your elbows to your knees and then keeping the circles of your feet together. So you can either stay here or you can take our opposite elbow to our opposite knee and then extend the other leg long and just switching directions. And you can go as slow or as fast as you'd like. And I invite you to place down your eyes and just imagine that you are biking around your favorite resort. So maybe you're biking around the lodge, maybe you're biking around the mountain, obviously when it's not snowing in the summertime, but just imagine your favorite mountain. Imagine biking around there.
begin to slow down. And come all the way to a stop. And bring your knees into your chest. Just giving yourself a nice big hug. Maybe rocking from side to side. And then from here, we're going to take our knees to the right side. Take our gaze to the left for a little spinal twist. Begin to focus on our exhales. Our exhales help to calm us down. And our inhales help to invigorate the body and wake the body up. Inhale, come back to center, bring your knees in. And switching to the opposite side, so take your knees over to the right and gaze to the left. And just focus on those exhales. Just releasing any stress, any tension. On our next inhale, bring your knees back to center, hug them in. Maybe coming into happy baby, so you're gonna flex your feet and bring them towards the sky, and then you can grab onto your feet if that's available to you on the outside of your feet or the inside of your feet. I prefer the outside, but it's your practice that feels good to you. And you can rock from side to side. Or you can come into any pose that you feel like you might want to come into before final relaxation. Whatever's calling to your body. And then go ahead and bring your knees in. One last hug, and then you're gonna go ahead and come into star pose. So you're gonna come, plank down on your mat. If you need a blanket or anything to keep you warm, go ahead and put that on you. And you're just gonna bring your arms away from your body like a star, and your feet far apart. And you're just gonna take some deep inhales and exhales. Making those exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. And you're just going to slip into stillness. So now I'm going to take you on a little bit of a guided meditation. Just keep your eyes closed. I want you to envision a whiteboard in front of you with some pens and an eraser. And I want you to walk over to the whiteboard and pick up a pen and remove the cap. And then I'd like you to begin to draw or write anything that's caused you stress. You've had a bad fall. There was a trip you just couldn't get down. Something in snowboarding that just hasn't gone your way, that you just can't seem to part with, and it just seems to keep coming to your mind. So just write that down, that experience, or draw it. Just taking your time. When you're all done, place the cap back on your pen and place the pen down. And take up the eraser 
And just begin to erase away that memory, that stressful time, that fall that you had, just erase it away and get rid of it. Until you have a nice, beautiful, blank whiteboard. And throw that eraser down and pick up a different colored pen. Remove the cap and start to write or draw a memory that was joyful for you. Something that you're looking forward to in snow morning or a goal or something that brought you joy. And begin to write. Maybe you smile as you're writing. Thinking about all the good times. Step back and look at all the good memories that you've created for yourself and see the goals that you want to achieve and the new memories that you want to make. And just feel gratitude for your snow morning, for your body, for your mind. Begin to take some deeper breaths, focusing on your inhales, waking up your body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you make some circles with your wrists and your ankles. And take your feet together. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. Nice big stretch. And then from here, you're going to roll into embryo pose. So roll to either side. And you're just in a little ball. And your knees and by your chest and you're on your side. And just pausing here for a moment. And then ever so slowly, use your top hand to allow yourself to sit up, having your head be the very last thing to come up. And just find your way into a seated position. Right back to where we started. And close down your eyes. And inhale your arms over your head. Take your palms to meet. And bring your palms right between your eyebrows. May your practice bring clarity to your thoughts, compassion to your speech and love in your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much. That concludes the yoga, and I hope that you're feeling grounded and ready to go out there and shred. Thanks for joining me.